Hey there, it's Melissa with MelissaEsplin.com and CoolYourFee.org. And um, a continuation of the General's Kimberly watercolor set. Like I mentioned in the review earlier, you can see in the description below if you're looking for that review, um, that you're going to get a very different result. You're not going to get the same same kind of image that you're going to get with tube paints. And that's the beauty of watercolor pencils in general. So. Let's show you a little bit how to make a gestural watercolor floral piece. So, I'm going to do some ranunculus, which are really easy to do. Ranunculus are very rounded with very simple strokes. So we're gonna start with these colors. I'm gonna go for red and I'm gonna draw kind of an oval. And I'm putting a fair amount of pigment down. I do sort of a bottom C type shape and this is what sort of cups the flower together and doing some line work and we'll do some more line work at the end to add those details drawing a little circle of yellow some little details here and there adding some orange in here to lighten that up so we're doing a bud we're making it a little more rounded and then you add these little bits in here yellow for the center. Do another one facing down. And we're just mixing up the colors because the, the color blending is really what adds interest in here. So we're going to add the yellow center in there and then little bits of green, little pops of green in here. And we can add a little bit more to the end. So ranunculus leaves are sort of odd shaped. Totally perfect. We got those. We're gonna add maybe some darker greens inside the leaves and some blues on the outside. So just and for the blues, I'm actually touching very lightly, so I do more of a gradient here. Doesn't really look alike a whole lot. You need to grab some brushes. I like round brushes best. Get a big one. Get a small one. We're ready to work. We're gonna start bigger and then work our way smaller add little bits, activate those colors, and you want to go in circular motions because that's how these petals are developing. They're growing in sort of this circular round motion. Well, you can activate from here and then do some regular lines, some painted lines, so you don't have to do everything within the lines that you've created. So it's very gestural. Now clean off your brush, activate centers and I like to pull a little bit into the paint just so that you have this blending going on here. You want to color outside the lines, let's be honest. That's way more fun. So now we're going to activate the pigment on the leaves and I'm just pulling this. The green really pulls nicely. We laid down a lot of pigment with the green so we can just add a little bit more greenery here, here and there. Now we're going to create the wash and the wash we're just going to pull outwards you don't want to blend totally into the color that you've already laid down. You want to make this nice little separation between what you've done, your flower, and your background. If you do touch your leaf, that's not a big deal. So you want to try to avoid it for the most part or you're just going to have a muddy mess. And see, I'm activating these and I also have more pigment on my brush. So I'm going to load that and create some drops. You can barely see them on the screen but adding those little droplets kind of help finish off your border. And it'll dry darker. So there you go, we've got like this nice, delicate little composition in very little time.